Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. This is your general love reading for the period of February 21st until the 28th. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has been liking and sharing the videos and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So let us see what is going on for the sign of Sagittarius this last few days of February. What can they expect in love and relationships? Love messages for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The last few days of February. We have the Empress card. The other person is the Seven of Cups. For cross watchers, please note that roles can be reversed in this reading. Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Taurus or someone that has Taurus in their chart. I feel like right now, Sagittarius, there are a lot of blessings in your environment. You are growing in your field. There is a relationship in particular that you are being called to nourish, to protect. You are seeing things kind of like the potential where this can lead to. And you are doing what it takes to protect it. You have definitely a goal in your mind. And like the Empress, you are very blessed with this relationship. The other person though, you're dealing with someone that has a lot of options. Very opposite kind of energy. It almost feels like this person is being called to different directions. Their focus may not be just on you. For some of you, it could mean that this person may be dating a lot of other people. But I'm getting the vibe that this person is more on multitasking different aspects of themselves and their life perhaps this person may be preoccupied with work with other responsibilities with their business with their education whatever the case may be you on the other hand you feel like the vibe that i'm getting here even though this is the empress card i'm getting that you are a warrior protecting the relationship from something I think that you are aware this person is in this position right now, the Seven of Cups. They may be having some confusion time as to where they're going to put their focus and energy into. It, all, it almost feels like this person is afraid of making a decision about something. Could be about the relationship the two of you have. For some of my Sagittarius here, no matter how confusing the situation may be, overall with the Empress card, there is blessing there is love there is attraction all right but with the empress energy even though there is burst of energy and abundance of love of attraction of beauty all around you and this person it's all about knowing where it's heading it's not kind of like the um the chart card the chart card is a burst of energy as well but that card knows where it's going i think that you both are facing some bit of a struggle as to where you guys are going and I think that you are firmly decided on something here Sagittarius the other person is maybe still deciding on it so you're waiting and while waiting you are protecting the relationship you're standing your ground you're being firm with your decisions all right so what is the overall connection for Sagittarius Four of Cups energy. Indeed, I feel like as an overall energy, the other person, the other person is indeed confused with options. You, on the other hand, 
you have a lot of other offers when it comes to love. You, you feel like a lot of people are trying to communicate with you, Sagittarius. But see how you're closing your heart over there with your hands and how you have a box in your head right there is a vision that I'm getting here that most of you guys are closing your lines of communication from other offers and other love while you are waiting for this person to choose you or to pay attention to you and make your relationship a priority. You don't want to admit that you are struggling with this, but I think that you are trying to strengthen yourself while dealing with this. The strength is greater than your worries, but you still feel worried about it. You still feel sad, all right? So much that you are ignoring what's happening in your environment because you are firmly focused on this person right here and the relationship. You have a fixed mindset that you want this. You are sure of this. For some of you, three is a card of expansion. But oftentimes, it's a card of waiting as well. Waiting for things to expand and head on a direction. So the waiting period is what's making you sad. Is what's making you feel this kind of energy, four of cups. The other person is the seven of cups. Please note that roles can be reversed here. It may be that you are the one that has a lot of options, Sagittarius. And know that the other person is waiting for you. To finally decide once and for all what is it going to be. What's going to make you happy. And they're hoping that it would be them. Alright. So let's see. What is the challenge for this connection? The challenge is the justice card. Could be a Libra that you are dealing with here. So I think justice could mean for some of you that you want the other person to tell you the truth to confront you you finally want to confront them as well whoever is confused with their options they're finding it a bit hard to be transparent towards you seven of cups is a card of willpower and someone is lacking the willpower to be transparent someone is lacking the willpower to make a final decision they couldn't make their mind up and that's why their emotions are confused. They're so afraid to make a choice because they think that if they finally get one choice that they would regret the outcome. So I think that they don't want to feel guilty in the end and regret something. And that is why they're trying to delay this or they're trying to um, not be quick to act and decide on anything just yet. However, for the other person, could be you who's waiting here. Sag Sagittarius such waiting is making you feel a bit impatient I'm not saying that it's a bad thing but it, but I think that if the sadness and the grief grief is already creeping on you then you have the right you can do as much confrontation as you want if you feel like you are being led on and that you have stalled your life so much to waiting for this person to come around then there, there's definitely no harm in trying to strike an honest and truthful conversation with your partner just to ask them where is this really heading. Remember justice is slow to serve. There's a snail on top of this creature's head. You may not get the outcome that you want, Sagittarius. Things may be slowing down right now, but once justice is served, you can be sure that it is just. And this goes for the other person as well. They may not like the confrontation that's going to take place. They may not like your way of communicating, meaning on point, direct, confrontational. But it's what is needed to be done to have balance. It is what's just. So with the Justice card, set your emotions aside. This Four of Cups energy, yes, it is happening. You have all the means and right to feel this way but it's not kind of productive energy put this aside and find a solution to your problem by thinking more logically and what better way than to communicate with your partner 
I think that you're not looking for an argument. And trust that if you confront your partner, it's not going to get to that. I feel like you're still going to be the empress. Loving, maternal, but very protective. And if you want to protect this relationship, you ought to know where this is going. You ought to know if this person is the same page with you. All right? So it's all about balance. Balancing your life. Balancing your emotions versus your your thoughts. Balancing the relationship as well. I feel like you're the one doing the effort in. You're the only one caring for this person too much and showering um, that love and affection. The other person can be doing the same, but I think that with the Seven of Cups, they're preoccupied, see? They could be spreading their attention and love thinly that they're that they hardly put their part or put their effort the same way that you are in the relationship and that's what's making you sad really four of cups so let's see here what is your advice for sagittarius queen of coins i feel like you are indeed dealing with a taurus or it could be a capricorn or a virgo this is an advice card. It reminds you. I'm getting, yes, it reminds you to put your life goals as a priority. But it also, to me, the spirit is intuitively talking to me as if, yes, you have someone's back, like I told you. But what do they give in return? Queen of Coins, you are loving, you are maternal, ever giving, ever generous, very radiant and abundant when you love someone but make sure it's not spoiling the other person too much all right remember that relationship is all about give and take it's all about balance and harmony so do not be afraid to talk to your partner and as the outcome card is the queen of coins i love this two court cards queen and king over here you guys are meant to be together so this may very well be just a challenge that you both need to go through and as a challenge, it's like tapping on your partner's back saying, Hey, this is what you're doing to me right now. And these are my needs. This is what I deserve. And oftentimes, this person may be preoccupied indeed. Being the king of coins, he may be a very established career-oriented person or a business-minded person. So that they may be multitasking a lot of times. Hardly spend time with you. Spending quality time. And that's why you feel sad about this. So it's all about balance, finding a, a solution to your problem. Communicate with your partner. You guys are, after all, meant to be together. And not all, all relationships are perfect. Everyone goes through struggle and challenges. And I think that by keeping your emotions on the side and thinking of more intellectual and rational solutions, you both can be able to fix this. Less drama and more love, okay? So that is your reading, Sagittarius. It's a short one. If you guys haven't watched the videos for the period of February 11th until the 20th, go ahead and check that out. You might find that helpful in your case as well. So please meditate on this reading. Sending you guys love and light, and I'll talk to you soon.